<laughs> I'm Karen Reisdorf, and when my grandmother died last summer, we found um, boxes of of images of my father that he sent home from Vietnam. My name is Becky Lefevre and my grandfather was an aerial photographer in World War II. He was stationed in the South Pacific and I've always wanted to do something with his photos. This is the piece I'm working on right now. I need to make another one of these. This machine is a day lab. It's what we use to make the Polaroid transfers on. In this portion there's a pack of film and over here is the lens where we're going to put our image that we want to expose onto the film. Now when I pull the film out of the machine, there's rollers in the machine and they slide a chemical across the film here and that's what makes the reaction that exposes the image. So I put the image side down and then we take a roller and just roll it on. And the cool thing about the Polaroid transfers is that no two images really come out the same. The film is... it's it's got a lot of variation to it. I'm primarily using emulsion lifts instead, which is still using the same machine, but instead of cutting it open and pulling it apart to print it onto the paper, you fully expose the film for a minute, and then I put contact paper onto the back of, of the image and it soaks in 160 degree water for about three minutes. And then this image lifts off so it floats in the water. You can see it kind of takes the, takes the movement of the water so they look like pieces of fabric almost. The glass panes make it so that they're transparent. People can kind of extract their own meanings from, from the work instead of there necessarily being a story, or there is a story for me, but it kind of, there's a auric sense to it, or auratic um, sense to these boxes, I think, you know, that sort of speak for themselves.